Well, guys, just to remind y'all, we do have a podcast called the Awesome Padrone Podcast. You want to go check that out on YouTube. We also have it on uh, Instagram, on on iTunes and Google Play. And we're still working on Spotify, too. So hopefully we just sent in another uh, request through uh, through our RSS, right? Yeah. Our RSS feed to yeah, get Wushka. it to Wush, from Wushka in order to get that sent over to Spotify. So hopefully that will get up there pretty soon. Uh, so if you want to, go ahead and check that out. We'll put a link in the description below. Hellboy is directed by Neil Marshall. Yeah, and it stars David Harba. Harba. Har- <laughs> David. Harbucks. Uh, yeah, Harbucks. <laughs> David, David Harbour, uh, Mia Jovovich, and Ian McShane. And uh, it's a, a reboot, which I, I never saw the uh, the Ron Perlman movies. Yeah, neither did I. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I never saw either one. Yeah. But uh, this is a reboot, and I don't know how people are reacting to that, but it doesn't seem that Oh, uh, I know how people are <laughs> reacting to that. People don't like the idea of it. And... Like we said, we haven't seen it, so this movie, this this review, this review is not going to be like in any way like us comparing it to the to the originals. And even if we did see see the originals, we'll try our best not to yeah. compare it. But we definitely are comparing it now. That being said, I don't want to act like this movie is anything fantastic. Yeah, this movie is actually pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very good movie at all. Yeah, it's a it's one of those movies that I can admit that is bad. Yeah, but in all honesty, uh, I'm not gonna lie to that and not say that it, I wasn't thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, but, or I didn't find a lot of it thoroughly enjoying, especially the last like third of the movie. I found I just was just sitting there with like yeah. just enjoying <laughs> the, the heck out of it. Yeah, and it kind of reminded me of that movie uh, where the Ready Player One. Well, oh, not yeah. like not like in any like <laughs> like story writing elements. But, yeah. um, but just the fact that movies like Ready Player One are this movie that are bad. They're bad movies. They have really bad writing. They don't really. They have too much exposition. They have too much stuff. They have don't. They don't have enough of something else. But at the end of the day, you watch it and you're like, you know what? I'd be lying to anybody if I didn't say I didn't enjoy that just a little bit. Like especially the last third of this movie, mm-hmm. I like enjoyed it completely. Yeah, it's it's one of those guilty pleasure movies, yeah. at least for me. Yeah, and I don't really know if I really care to watch it that much again. Maybe I will, but like it was just for the time being, it was a movie where I just shut my brain off and just became like a complete idiot, and just didn't pay attention to any of anything else. Except for the fact that it was enjoyable to watch, which it kind of helped that uh, our uh, the theater that we saw it in the screen was messed up, is yeah. like shifted down, <laughs> and like, like they told us that it broke or whatever, and they didn't want to stop the movie. Which, to be honest, I feel like they should have stopped the movie and fixed it. But anyways, that, that helped you like turn your brain off a yeah. little bit. And, and I do want to start off by actually bringing up points that I do like, other than the fact that it's slightly that it's pretty enjoyable, yeah. and the, the, that is the fact that I do like um, the special effects. Other than CG, the CGI was terrible. Yeah. I will bring that up. Right. The CGI, anything CGI. Anything CGI was awful. Uh, but the actual special effects, like the, it seemed like they're more. It seemed like they were practical effects. Um, mm-hmm. They were actually some of the were really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I was sitting there throughout the movie, and I was just thinking about how it was pretty much like a roller coaster <laughs> with like the effects, which, yeah. which, like you said, uh, mostly it came down to the CGI effects were the, t- the things that were terrible. But like the the practical effects were like some of the best I've seen in movies, mm-hmm. which is like crazy. The CGI effects were some of the worst I've seen, yeah. and the practical effects were some of the best I've seen. It honestly reminded me the CGI effects that kind of reminded me of like an early two thousands movie. Yeah, uh, just the way it felt and the way it looked, <laughs> just it looked awful. I also want to say that I already loved the dude before, but David Harbor. Mm-hmm. I love David Harbor in the first place from like Stranger Things. Right, you know. Um, Suicide Squad. Yeah. It's, <laughs> 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 not bringing the, that into conversation. <laughs> um, I will say that I, David Harbour to me was the best part about the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah he was definitely. he was actually really good. I didn't like most of his lines, his because they gave him a ton of one liners <laughs> mm-hmm. over and over and over and over again. None of them were good. <laughs> None of them were good. They were all so cheesy. The only thing that didn't make them horribly cringeworthy was David Harbour. Yeah. David Harbour's uh, delivery on them didn't make them good. It just made him not make me want to die. Yeah, that was the only thing about that. that was the one thing about him. Yeah, which I was kind of scared watching the trailers. Which the trailers, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest and say that I didn't like them like at all. Any of the trailers for this movie, but even David Harbor in the trailers, I was really kind of iffy on mm-hmm. uh, with his portrayal. But I feel like in in this movie they use like different takes 
like completely like I could tell like a lot of it were like completely different takes yeah uh, that they used in the movie than what they used in the trailer and it was just completely better mm -hmm. yeah and that being said um, I do want to just bring up that is probably the last of what I liked about this movie mm -hmm. uh, there was not much at all I liked about this movie <laughs> other than and whenever I say a movie is enjoyable that's not me saying hey go see it guys it's fantastic <laughs> no that's me saying like I turned my brain off I just got my brain ripped it out of my head and threw it a mile away and I watched this movie and enjoyed it you know? yeah it was almost like a, a Walmart brand movie or Walmart brand Sam Raimi movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so I do want to say this movie is not good. So if you did like the originals, which I didn't see the originals, but if you did like them, you're probably going to hate this movie. Uh, if you want a movie that has at least decent writing, at least decent screenplay, a movie that doesn't spoon feed you everything, you're going to hate this movie, <laughs> okay? Because this movie treats you like an idiot. This yeah. movie has like at least four scenes of exposition. Yeah, like the very beginning scene is an exposition scene. It's like set back in as like this stone not st well the stone is that what they're called the stone age i think so with like king arthur yeah, and all yeah. that and so. like there's a narration from one of the characters and it's like some of the cheesiest narration just his voice sounded cheesy and the way he was explaining things was so cheesy yeah and it didn't get much better from there like like you said there's like three or four other whole exposition scenes where they just like told you what's going on instead of just showing you yeah and all the exposition scenes were probably some of the worst scenes too because it's it's almost like the exposition scenes were filmed by different people. Right. Yeah. You know, like the whole the whole exposition, like the whole movie itself. I, I, I it didn't really feel that cheesy, but all the exposition scenes were just cheese filled. Man, they're, they're <laughs> just filled with complete cheese. It was right. horrible. Um, and then I I do want to I do want to say uh, that another thing that was, was really weird, and it's a really weird complaint too. I, I don't usually make that often. Is that they did not know how to use cuss words oh, in this yeah. movie. Um, I don't have a problem with cuss words in movies because you know, I mean, that's how people talk. It's how people talk, so like, mm -hmm. whatever, you know. But yeah. uh, I do believe that you do need to use them right, yeah. and you do need to actually say them correctly because mm -hmm. there are times whenever it's said, especially the, like in the first sentence of the movie, they use <laughs> they, they they drop an f bomb. Right. It just feels weird. It's almost like, hey, this is a rated R movie, guys. <laughs> in, case you, in case you didn't know that. Yeah, and it's not like I felt like they uh, they overused it, uh, yeah. the F-bombs. It's just that they put them, whenever they did use them, they put them in such weird places. Yeah. Yeah. It was just so off-putting. Yeah, like, like I wasn't expecting a narration. A narration <laughs> and the first sentence of the narration, the very first sentence of this movie, dropping an F-bomb in such a weird place. Right. And and then there's a character that's like a, it's like a boar. He's like, oh, a, yeah. like a boar character. Uh, he he drops them a lot of times, and they just feel weird every time he says it. I also do wish this movie kind of pulled a little bit more, which not not like a whole bunch, but a little bit more from the Del Toro uh, movies when it came to color. Um, oh yeah, I do feel like the color on this movie wasn't necessarily it wasn't like Pet Cemetery bland, but it what they didn't you they didn't use good use of their they didn't make good use of their black colors uh, like like Del Toro did with those old, which like I've never seen it, but I have seen like scenes, scenes from them. Yeah. And they really make good use of their colors, their con their contrasts from their bright and their dark colors. And this movie really doesn't do that. And so at times it does kind of feel flat, the movie. It just kind of feels like a flat feeling. Um, and also, like I said earlier, the screenplay is pretty bad. Um, I didn't like most of the lines. Yeah, the, just the writing overall just was like pretty terrible. Yeah. The, the choice of music sometimes, which I know, oh, yeah. I, I know Hellboy is like this kind of cool character, so I didn't mind a few, uh, especially the action scenes have been rock music, but there's some uh, like transition scenes where they play like this rock music, and I think that contributed to a lot of what I was saying earlier, how it was felt like an early 2000s movie. Yeah. Well guys, overall this movie uh, was not good. Uh, it was not a very good movie, but I'm sitting here reviewing this movie and I don't feel angry whatsoever. So I do want to bring that out a little bit. I don't want to act like it's, uh, I do want to act like it's bad, but I don't want to act <laughs> like, I don't want to act like I was horribly mad about watching it either. So if you do want to watch, if you wanted to see this movie and you want to, and I'm telling you this much, if you want to go in there and just turn, flip your brain off, completely off, and you just want to have a good time, I can tell you will have that, at least I'm going to say the last third of this movie and a few scenes throughout too. I will tell you that. But overall, if you're expecting an actual good movie, with good writing and good, like a lot of good stuff going on through it, you're not really gonna get that. Yeah, this movie was definitely one of those over top, over the top movies that are pretty enjoyable to watch, but aren't necessarily the greatest movies. Like I said, it's 
earlier it's a kind of a guilty pleasure movie for me i definitely think it's a lot better than the 11 percent that it has on rotten tomatoes right now but i don't i still don't think it's in that uh good range we are gonna say that hellboy is 40 percent awesome Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment below and let us know what you thought about Hellboy. And go ahead and rank all three of these Hellboy movies. Let us know what you thought about all of them. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Two Awesome Men. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and you will see us later.